Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We learned something yesterday that really changes everything for the outlook of FC24 heading into the summer content, specifically relating to the Euros. Guys, we have live and upgrading cards, heroes, and icons a part of that coming to this game as a part of Euro 2024, and it all starts tomorrow on the season side of things but a lot of cards have been leaked players even and upgrades to how these cards are going to work we have a lot of news and leaks to look into today especially because we thought we might not have anything higher than three play style pluses on a player but it looks like that might be changing yeah a lot to talk about today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new let's go over yesterday's content really quick there's not a lot to go over because there was three sbcs yesterday and that was it ea decided that it would be a good day to break the streak no more flashback or end of an era sbcs we had sonia bomb pastor which i think for a lot of people they look at this card and they say she was really good at one point. Maybe you use one of Bound Pastor's special cards during the year, like the Champions League hero. Her base hero card is very usable early on. Even this fantasy version was very good, like a couple of months ago, when the fantasy cards were still really meta. I think she's still good in game. Like she has a good playstyle. She's got anticipate. Uh, she's got whip pass plus. She's got relentless plus. Uh, but this is a pretty cheap SBC, two hundred and seventy thousand coins. Really, I think most people are not a fan of this because when they look at their team. This card doesn't better their team at all. But if you need a French left back, if you need D1 or Kemba Lynx, you just want a solid left back card, it is there. And the price is okay. I think she was over 300k uh, on the market before this SBC was released. But I think we're also a little bit let down because we have had the expectation set of a flashback player or an end of an era every single day this week. And we didn't get that yesterday. So that was a little bit underwhelming, but that SBC is there if it interests you. Now let's go to the upgrades where we had two new SBCs yesterday, one of which was expected. The other one was too, to be honest. We just weren't sure what EA was going to do with it. Remember last week we had the 90 plus tots pick. This week we get the 91 plus. They just upgraded the rating by one. That was it. 85 and 87 rated squads. It's coming in at right over 100,000 coins. And, you know, these are always worth the try. These SBCs are always worth to do just to see what you could potentially get. But it seemed like the weight from this yesterday was really bad. Like, I opened mine. I think I got a 92 rated Tots moments. Most of them that we opened on stream weren't that good. Always worth a try, but the weight didn't seem that good. I know some people got some really good ones, um, but that's that. Really nothing super special with that. Just your average normal weekly Tots player pick now that we've seen for three weeks in a row. Uh, this is the other SBC that we had, the La Liga Tots upgrade, which again is always worth a try. And I'm a testament to that this week because I did the La Liga Tots upgrade and I got Cancelo, which was a card that went boom straight into my team. So just a testament to always, even though when you think, oh man, it's not worth it. Those are the same upgrade packs that we had during team of the season. I did them. They were bad. They're still bad. Always worth the try. You never know. So, I mean, the price on that one's 83,000 coins. It's one squad. It's really easy to do. So if you're crafting on the game right now, 83 tens, put that fodder that you get into those and you're good to go. So that was yesterday's content. That's it. There were no evos. There were no objectives. That was literally it. Now, I do want to run you guys up to speed really quickly because it's been a big time on Weekend League, right? A lot of you guys have been grinding the gameplay to get those Ultimate Champs rewards. That is what I did yesterday. If you were on stream, you watched the madness unfold. I was down bad. I was 5-6 and six in Weekend League, and I turned it around, changed up some tactics, which we talked about, and it's on the second channel, um, some of those highlights and the reaction to packing these rewards, Red Lautaro and Red VVD. VVD, it changes everything for my squad right now, for sure. Tots entirely, like, we're ending the, the Tots season here, right? Seven weeks of this stuff, six weeks, whatever it is. Um, the team is completely different coming out of this promo, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are seeing the same thing, but, like, my team has gone from good to just stupid like i cannot believe that i still have packed griezmann and Mbappe, and now i have a red freaking virgil van dyke to show for it so you can call it ea employee luck you know not an employee but you know the jokes whatever i don't know we just the, the account i have not had crazy crazy luck all year tots completely changed that around so that is our ultimate tots weekend league story and that was nuts now to kind of switch the page to something maybe not as hype this is kind of the last thing i want to cover because it actually impacts maybe some of you guys trying to get on the game right now before we get into all the euro stuff 
EA Help posted. I don't know why EA FC Direct didn't, unless I missed it. But they said they're running maintenance this morning at 8 a.m. UTC for six hours. Guys, I can only imagine that this is to add in some of the stuff that is upcoming with the Euros content that we are going to talk about here in just a second. So let's get into it. Let's not push it any farther back and talk about Euro 2024 leaks and news because even EA themselves, right? EA has already kind of told us what's coming later on this week, right? We talked about that yesterday with the Path to Glory countdown challenge. We're expecting Path to Glory on this Friday at FC24. We're getting more than just that because it all starts tomorrow with a brand new season, right? The season is coming to a close. It's counting down. That's probably why there's maintenance. Usually there is maintenance before the change into a new season. EA tweeted yesterday. This is official as it gets, right? EA tweeting, get ready for festival of football. That might ring a bell from some summer promos of previous years and some really good ones at that. UEFA Euro 2024 is coming to FC 24 June 6th, which of course is tomorrow on Thursday. In the picture here, they've got a lot of the top nations from the Euros represented by different players. And they're sporting the kits, I believe, that they that those countries will be sporting at the Euros as well. That may, might be a nice little piece if they're going to have the official kits uh, added in. A nice little touch. Um, I bet we see and learn a lot more about this season. Maybe even today with some of the leaks, guys. Because one of the things we always see before a brand new season, especially if it's a big one, right? Is you see that EA do some of these like write-ups. Remember before the winter season when they added the snowfall to the menus and some of the stuff that they did? They added write-ups about it and there was like basically a pitch notes about some of the stuff that was coming out with a new season i think it'll be on that sort of level this festival of football euros type content for this season that will be starting tomorrow at division rivals rewards time so i think that's why ea is promoing it i think that's why they're doing maintenance and i think there's even some things that we're going to look at through the leaks that will kind of coexist and we'll actually get with euros content tomorrow but that's not the big stuff guys this is the big stuff the official names and the upgrades this was big news guys we're, we talked about path to glories live and upgrading cards representing players and nations who are going in the euros and copa america we also have icons that are going to be upgrading with those as well when is the last time we had live icons was it thunderstruck I was trying to think about this earlier. We have greats of the game, icon and hero upgraded cards that are coming. And there's a plus two potential here or two upgrades. I guess it's not all a stat upgrade. There are two upgrade potentials and they're pretty easy to get. You have the campaign launch, which again, this card design is cut in half, right? This is the icon design. This is the hero design. We'll look at that here and again in a second with some actual elite players. The first upgrade, all they have to do is the player's nation scoring two goals in the Euros or Copa America, whatever competition that they are in, that is a plus one upgrade. Two goals? That might happen in the first match, right? Each of these nations is guaranteed three games in the in the group stages, right? So you have three games to get two goals. The second upgrade is Players Nation scores four goals. So nothing to do with wins, nothing to do with progressing in the tournament. It's all about scoring goals, which is interesting. And I think pretty easy the upgrade path looks pretty easy here guys think about it you could have one game where it's like a three to three game and boom you've got two cards that are getting really good progression towards both of their upgrades based on the nations that are playing in that game right that's cool now of course the first upgrade we mentioned was a plus one inform boost this is where it gets interesting this right here is the first news or leak about four playstyle pluses even being a thing. Because as you can see here, for the second upgrade for a player's nation scoring four goals, it is either plus one playstyle plus or a 99 face stat on the card. Also, that throws up some red flags for me because what is the or? There's an option. It's not like, I don't know if we've ever had this before where EA has said, hey, we're going to upgrade this card with this or this. It's always this is what the card gets when it gets upgraded so this is kind of breaking the unwritten rule that we thought we knew with all cards in this game because there's been the rumor going around and i think it was always believed that ea had said it that the max number of playstyle pluses that we would see during fc24 was three that was kind of like the unwritten rule maybe they adjusted their plans maybe this is leak is wrong i don't know 
But this is challenging that right now because we've got a lot of players that have had three playstyle pluses and that has been the normal on this game now since the start of team of the season, right? We've had three playstyle plus players for a little bit longer than that, but like consistently every single player being dropped uh, as a three playstyle plus card was 100% the start of team this season so this is big like we're talking going from three playstyle pluses to four in a pure short term time frame to be completely honest like sure you know scoring four goals and these upgrades the competitions don't start for another week so realistically when would be the first time that we would see a four playstyle plus card if this leak is correct you're talking maybe late june probably the end of june sort of situation by the time they get the cards upgraded you know there's a little bit of delay with that as well so i mean that takes us into the summer season of this game where we originally thought that just the card stats would continue to be boosted up but you add in the aspect that there could be cards with four play style pluses that changes a whole lot and that makes me think well you know some of these cards that i'm packing and all this stuff you know there's going to be even more cards to try to upgrade your team with and that, that's of course what ea wants us to continue to do right is to continue to upgrade cards to get higher rated ones to put them in our team but we're already at a 97 rated vvd so what's going to happen next a 97 vvd with four play style pluses you know what i mean that sort of thing so it just seems like it seems more possible than i thought originally um, since we are closer to the end of the year, but also there's still time left for them to try to like boost up the power curve a bit and give us even better cards that a lot of us would have fun chasing. And of course, regardless of the stats, it's going to be fun. It always is super fun to have cards that align with, uh, these big competitions that are going on. The last thing I want to point out about this, cause there's some tinfoil hat theories, like the whole or thing here, one play style plus or 99 face that some people are saying, well, what if they drop the icons and they only have two playstyle pluses so you know adding a playstyle plus gives them three if they're dropping icons with only two playstyle pluses at this stage of the game whereas for the last month we've had all tots cards with three that's L, that's an l and people will be very disappointed they can't do that they know that right that's why it seems possible that four playstyle pluses could be happening here and uh you know the 99 face stat thing is really interesting because is this for goalkeepers? We talked about this yesterday in stream. Some guys in the chat brought up some really good points. They're not giving playstyle pluses to goalkeepers. So maybe this is their way of saying like, let's say Vandersar gets a card and is representing the Netherlands for how they progress in the Euros. Well, he can't get a playstyle plus because they don't seem to want to give playstyle pluses to goalkeepers and they haven't all year. So maybe it's a 99 face stat for the goalkeepers. That's unknown as of yet. But again, we're probably going to learn a little bit more about this stuff here pretty soon. So let me know around in the comments what you think about these cards. Obviously, the card designs are sick. And these are some of the official cards that we have leaked right now. I believe we have three, two icons and one hero. This is the first uh, icon that is leaked, Rivaldo, right? Four team goals, and he will be getting a plus one. These are predicted stats um, or the extra play style plus. You know, give him a weak foot boost. What did he have earlier this year? Was it an ultimate dynasties or he had some other sort of icon card? where there were two versions. I don't think I ever used the card. Um, but, you know, we're due a new Rivaldo. Sure, that's okay. It could sound good. There's a lot of Brazilian icons, though. So I think EA kind of picked maybe a little bit one of lesser hype levels for a live and upgrading uh, greats of the game icon for Brazil. But it's still a live Brazilian icon. People are going to expect him to do well in Copa America. He's going to be very expensive for the potential upgrades. Di Natale is coming as a greatest of the game's hero card. So representing Italy in the Euros, of course. And uh, that's going to be a cracked card. Di Natale is always disgusting. I used this card a bunch last year. I haven't used him a bunch this year. Um, but Finesse Plus, that's all I need to know. Di Natale is cracked. So he's coming. And the latest leak is this Petit, which is also kind of similar to Rivaldo. They could have picked a more hype like a Zidane or Thierry Henry type of French icon and who's not to say there could be more of these that are being leaked from the same nation because there's probably going to be multiple players from France multiple players from Brazil whether it's one hero one icon multiple icons who knows representing each of these nations but Petit is getting himself a card as well so those are the official leaks right now for these greats of the game cards again the biggest news was the upgrades and all that uh but some of those league players are nice to talk about as well i do want to look at a couple more things related to the euros it's not just that guys because we have a lot of card designs yesterday we talked about the uh euro path to glory right we also have team of the tournament card designs and this is promos and cards that we should see dropped throughout the euros kind of schedule with different friday promos like the team of the tournament stuff 
And, uh, you know, like, what are these? UEFA Make Your Mark and Make Your Mark Plus. They look the exact same. I don't see a plus design on this or anything like that. Maybe this is some of the stuff we have to look forward to learning about. Like, I think this is, we need to keep it on our mind, basically, right? We have a UEFA Euro International Stars car design as well. And then a UEFA Euro Festival of Football Academy. Since EA also said Festival of Football is relating to this new season that's going to be coming out, this might be one of the car designs that we see pretty soon. So I wanted to shout that out um, there. And this is the newest design that was just leaked official copa america team of the tournament design and i mean wow that design looks insane especially from the usa i responded to this tweet and i was like yo there's more than uh one nation in copa america ea because it looks like this card is specifically made for usa uh with the colors and the stars and everything you know so anyways that's the official team of the tournament design so that is the euro team of the tournament that is the copa america team of the tournament all the car designs look these look really interesting. That one looks really sick. And I think I like the hero and the icon designs the best. Those look really, really cool. Now, there's one last thing I want to talk about. This was a leak from a long time ago. I think it still holds true. And it might have something to do with those festival of football cards that we just kind of talked about. That UEFA Euro Festival of Football. The time loans. Like, um, remember in, in FIFA 23 last year with the World Cup where we had these red cards where it was the same exact rating as the gold but we packed them and collected them in our club they were super annoying for the time being because they just got in the way you couldn't put them into SBCs or anything like that but what you did was you collected them and there was even like a new tab there was like a tab in the menus here where you could go into that and it was kind of like its own little separate spot where you could track your progress and see how many cards you had collected to get packs to get coin boost to get rewards and all this sort of stuff it sounds like that sort of thing could be happening again uh this is a leak again this is from a while ago may 2nd but i remember seeing this tweet and i was like okay they're leaking that right now um it, it sounds like maybe this uefa euro festival football academy car design could be somehow related to that um but that's something i wanted to throw out there because that's been news it's been tweeted about and um you know anything that gives us the opportunity to get you know free packs we're always super down for um but you know also if they're just adding different cards into packs and trying to make it really hype for the euros that's something that they did during the world cup and maybe they had great success with it so they're wanting to do it again for the euros so that's something i wanted to mention just watch the leaks again today guys because for some of this stuff if there's going to be an official write-up page there's leaks people get that information ahead of time so we will be learning more about it and we'll be talking about it each and every day as there are new updates as we build towards the euros now there's plenty of talk about the euros let's finish off ultimate tot strong today ea sports with one big last upgrade pack SBC. Well, two, two SBCs, but one big one. The ultimate tots guaranteed. That's what today is all about. And before you say, Nate, they're not going to drop it, right? They've, they've skipped out on dropping it before, which is true. They have. We've all been thinking in previous years, oh, this is the guaranteed tots SBC day. EA is going to drop a guaranteed tots SBC today, right? And in previous years, they haven't. Sometimes. This year, they also could do that. It's very possible. I'm in the camp, though, that they actually will because the way the upgrade packs have been running, the way the Ultimate Tots content has been going, it's been pretty solid, right? The End of an Era's solid. Your, uh, the uh, Evos started off sick, right? Even the regular upgrade packs we have had, the Tots picks and the daily um, league-specific upgrades have been pretty good. And there's even a pack that's in the code, right? Ultimate Tots guaranteed. All signs are pointing towards that SBC being today. If they're going to drop that, how much is it going to cost? It's not going to be cheap because you've got the best of the best in packs. And it would be kind of signifying one last big chance, right? For us to pack those ultimate TOTS cards before they go out of packs on Friday. I think if you're going to do this SBC EA, or if they're going to price it at some point, I think they're going to price it at like 200K, 250K. Yeah, you've got a lot of cards down here. There are 30,000 coins, especially after EA updated some price ranges yesterday on some of those cards that were not selling. So I'm glad they did that. Like Basha went from 150K down to 37. Now she up to 40,000. So she's rising a little bit. 
I actually ended up buying two Harry Canes yesterday um, for 540 and 550, and he went back up to about 600. He's back down now. I wish I would have sold right there. Could have, but I was playing weekend league, getting my rewards, and now he's back down. I'm probably going to hold on into today because I do think some of these cards will go up before the ultimate tots guaranteed if we do go ahead and get that but i'm still a little bit worried i know some of you guys are like oh nate i need to buy these for my team and sure if you waited until right now you're looking at a salah card who's down 100k from where he was he was 900,000 coins literally yesterday and now he's 799 he was just 780 a minute ago so I think if you're going to go and, and uh, get one of these in the team, go ahead and do it. This is a decent time. But with all this Euros content upcoming, you're talking live and upgrading icons and heroes. you got a whole season based around it. And then all the other cards are going to be coming out, including Path to Glories. I mean, is the market going to rise much? I don't think so. But if you want somebody from the team, I'm not going to stop you from going and getting them. If it's a rare card, today's probably going to be the day for that. Also, it'll be the day to sell fodder if you've invested in fodder today would be the day to sell after the content drop if we get the ultimate tots guaranteed i sold some 88s at 11,000 coins yesterday because they had gone up a lot but if they're going to get a 200,000 coin ultimate tots guarantee 250k sbc that's going to make some other fodder cards go up so that's one thing to really really watch today also i'm sitting here in the syria tots upgrade this is the last of the league specific upgrades that we would expect to be re-released today this one was pretty cheap it was 85 and 86 rated squad there so if you want to get that done again today one last chance like for me for a pulisic i would absolutely take one last chance at packing him or a dibala you know if we get insanely lucky right probably not but it's worth the shot so that should be re-released today as well and then uh i think the icon pack or icon player pick sorry refreshes today i think the uh encore hero player pick refreshes too and then other than that our normal SPC refreshes the 81 plus tradable team of the week is refreshing today and then of course i mean it's it's wednesday we have two days left of ultimate tots hopefully hopefully they drop us two banger end of an errors to end this thing off because we've had some good ones right we've had of course the royce we've had the tiago silva which is good i'm actually going to end up doing tiago just for fun i want to craft something and use him in the team linking him to vvd and some of the other uh spanish cards and la liga cards that i have in my squad so i'm going to end up doing tiago i've heard good reviews as well should be a fun card to at least just try out i hope we get more flashback and end of air cards for these last two days that would be fantastic end us off strong here with some good player species ea sports but again maybe you're like oh my goodness four playstyle plus cards might be on the horizon soon do I pass on doing an SBC and maybe start to be a little more careful with the packs that I open and save a little bit of my fodder and coins because of that? Um, I'm personally thinking, I don't think I'm going to spend a whole lot of coins on opening any other big packs or grinding too many upgrades just because I think I want to wait and see what the Euros and what the Copa America content is going to bring. Now, for one last chance at Ultimate Tots, of course, you got Rivals rewards, right? Besides the maintenance that's going on today, get those Rivals games in. And also, it wouldn't be a terrible decision. Like, if I'm going to go crazy on Rivals today, I'm going to do my best to maybe get to that Elite Division mark. It's going to be very difficult. And if I can't maintain this win streak, I'm probably not going to do it. But I'm definitely going to try to get the reward upgrade, right? So that I can get the Ultimate Tots um, rewards one last time from the player picks. Um, like if you get to the elite division, you know, all that good stuff. Wait, these rewards look different. A one of four, 82 plus. Hold on. Wait, what is this preview rewards? Are these rewards not? There we go. There we go. Right there. One of four ultimate tots uh, or tots plus. So, um, I mean, that's not ultimate tots related, but you have a chance of packing all those tots cards once again in rewards. I have to imagine that um, these rewards for rivals and champs would actually change with Euros content. And maybe they go to kind of what they did in previous years, I like a e-figs sort of thing where I don't know if you guys have seen or noticed that before, but you know, the e-figs tots player picks where it's tots cards in rewards. We'll see what they do. That's something that we're going to have to keep an eye out for here very soon with all the Euros content that's upcoming. So with that being said, one of the last two days today to try to pack an ultimate team this season, maybe get one for your team, make a few coins here or there. The market's, you know, still doing so, so there's a lot of gameplay demand. Um, I do have two Harry Kane still here. That's where the rest of my million coins is kind of just listing them for lazy seeing if we get a crazy sale hopefully watching him go up in price today i used this guy for a, our weekend league one run yesterday he was immense i would love to pack that card don't think it's going to happen but i'm still grinding some player picks still grinding some packs just for the chance that that could 
happen. So guys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All the Euros content will keep on top of it and we'll enjoy one last chance at Ultimate Tots these last two days. If you want to drop by the stream today, we'll be streaming, opening these packs, talking about all the leaks and all the news and info as it comes out. So you can check us out there in the description and I'll see you guys in the video tomorrow. It's been Nathan for the count. See you there. Peace.